No, we're just not getting many hits right now. But I, I still believe that, you know, maybe tomorrow will be the night. Hopefully, if it's not tomorrow night, it's, it, it's going to happen. Uh, and I, these guys, they'll, they'll hang together. It's that kind of group, you know. I mean, they, you know, they get all the noise outside of, the, out of that room. But they, they can handle that. We can all handle that. But, uh, I mean, we hit some balls hard tonight. I mean, just the way the game ended, you know. That's kind of the way things go sometimes. But, shoot, Stroman was tremendous. I mean, I don't know how he could have been any better. Um, Hey, well, these guys will show up. We'll all show up tomorrow, there's no doubt, at 7 o'clock. John, looking at the data, it doesn't seem like uh, your team so far is struggling uh, in terms of chasing pitches out of the zone. Uh, it's more so with the pitches inside the zone. What do you think is uh, usually a good explanation when a team's not really squaring up balls that are coming up over the plate? Well, I mean, nowadays there's data on everything, I guess. You know, um, really, I don't know how to explain that. I, do, I will say that, you know, some of our better hitters are missing their pitch. You know, you don't in, – in, I mean, you don't get a lot necessarily a lot of pitches in, in a bat. Um, I mean, their kid did a good job today. You know, he, he really did. But that's generally what it is, and that's usually a timing thing or maybe caught in between a little bit, um, that kind of thing. So – but yeah, I mean, I'm really, it's a, it's always been a high discipline team, you know. Seeing this, that's still the makeup of the of the group right there. And, and uh, there's some times too, I think, you know, maybe we're taking too many fastballs early early in the count, and maybe swing our way out of it a little bit. Uh, you mentioned Stroman. What specifically stood out to you about his uh, his outing tonight? Well, you know, I've seen him. I've seen him like that before. I mean, you look at all the ground balls he got. Um, I mean, really, that's that's what turned him into the you know quality pitcher he is when he when he picked that up a couple of years ago. So he's one of those guys he can always bail himself out of, out of trouble with that, with that big ground ball, and he's got a good breaking ball. You know, I mean, he's, he's not in you know he can be. Um, I'm sure it could be an uncomfortable at bat. You know, I mean, because he moves around, he throws anything anytime, and of course he's got all the uh, gyrations and the different you know the wind up stuff. So. And that works to his benefit. You know, he's able to. I mean, I mean, he's he's running with that. So, but I, you know, complete game, nine inning complete game. Uh, it's pretty good. Give you talk before the game about the little things that might turn it around for you. And you, you had stuff like the uh, dribbler down the third baseline for a single and Russ's double, and the pickoff at second, that sort of thing. Every time you see those, do you think that this is going to be it? Yeah, Richard, you you do. You hope it's it, you know. Uh, and you're waiting for somebody, a couple guys on base, somebody to boot a ball that won't go through their legs. You know, I mean, that's that's begging, but you know, sometimes you you look for that. Um, but yeah, I mean, I I thought we played a pretty good game, pretty solid game all the way around. We just haven't been able to string those hits together yet, but you know, we're, we're going to. Yeah, you touched on it a bit earlier when we said maybe we swing our way out of this. Uh, but in terms of process, are there any things that, that you urge your players to do when they're going through a rut like this to kind of help pull themselves out of it? Well, personally, sometimes I, th I think there's times you can overcomplicate it. You can outthink yourself sometimes and, you know, just go, hey, just go out there and play. I mean, have fun and like your little kid out there playing, you know. Uh, easier said than done. I'm not out there swinging, you know. But uh, sometimes it's that. It's like, you know, when guys start struggling, you know, they get a lot on their mind. They, you know, they... A lot of times they can overanalyze things like that. That's natural. Everybody does that. Sometimes they go up there and just look for a good pitch, put a good rip on it, and, and uh, live with the results. Sometimes it works best. 